Elegoo has just released a handful of high temperature and high strength filaments, and I thought this would be a great time to print some of the mods for the Centauri Carbon I've seen floating around the community. These new filaments include PAHTCF, a nylon based filament with carbon fiber reinforcement, PETGCF, a PET based filament with carbon fiber reinforcement, and PETGGF. Again, PET based with glass fiber reinforcement. One thing I noticed right away is a recommended dry time on the box. So before we get started, I'll throw a couple rolls in this two bay filament dryer. After the recommended eight hours of dry time, we're ready to get printing. First mod is gonna be this internal spool holder from user Project 34 on Nextprint. If you don't know, Nextprint is a new model repository from Elegoo. They do a few giveaways and competitions over here, so if you're a designer, definitely consider uploading your free models over here. This model uses a spacer between the frame and the panel on the right side of the machine to bump it out just enough to fit a full one kilogram spool inside the build chamber. We'll print this one out of glass reinforced PETG as I think it'll hold up better to the friction of the spool that it'll be holding. I had a hard time finding a material profile for this, but I found it printed pretty well using the generic PETG CF profile in Orca Slicer. With these installed, we can now fit a full size roll of filament in the build chamber. This will be great for printing high temp materials that need to be kept warm and dry while printing. Next, we'll print this vented top cover riser. For this, we'll use PETG CF for some added durability. This is an awesome design and they have a beveled spot here with clips for some LED lighting. You can print either the vented version or the solid version, so I opted for one vented panel that I'll install on the front which should let more than enough hot air escape during PLA printing. This turned out great and I no longer have to find a random object to prop open the glass cover while printing PLA. The next print is some new door hinges.
Again, printed in PETG CF, these allow the door to open fully instead of the stock just over 90 degrees. This makes removing prints and general maintenance on the machine much easier, so I highly recommend this one. I've been using the poop bucket print that was included with the Centauri Carbon for catching waste material, and it's been fine. But with the rumored multi-material system for the Centauri Carbon on the horizon, waste management is going to quickly become an issue. So I found this poop chute that funnels waste to a more visible area. This one's from Elegoo Lab over on Nextprint. Again, I printed this one in PETG CF, and this stuff prints great with a nice matte finish. This model bolts onto the back of the machine using the two screws under the purge chute. I usually leave my other build plates in the build chamber under the bed, but I found a pretty cool looking build plate holder, again from Elegoo Lab on Nextprint. This keeps them neatly organized and away from the machine and upright so they don't gather dust. Finally, I use WiseCams to monitor all my printers when I'm out of the house. There's a handful of models for WiseCams floating around, but they all seem to mount to the front glass door. And this isn't helpful if you're printing PLA with the door open. So I jumped into Fusion and designed one that'll mount to the right hand side using double sided tape. Of course we need to cut a small hole for the camera to see through. The result is a pretty good look at the inside of the machine, and I highly recommend these wise cams if you're not already using them. Not only do you get good video, but you also get an audio signal as well, so you can hear things like failing supports and extruder jams, which might not always be visible. Here's a look at our machine with all of today's mods. I couldn't be happier with how this all turned out, and everything looks super sleek in these new Elegoo filaments. That's all the mods for today. If you're looking for even more upgrades, Uncle Jesse has a great video up that I'll leave a link to in the description. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.